One death is a tragedy, a million is a statistic. Joseph Stalin. All that is required for evil to prevail is for good men to do nothing. Edmund Burke. Forward. I served in the Canadian military, as did my father before me. My father was a role model for me, perhaps a bit more stern than I would have liked, but nevertheless a man of high moral standards and example. Much of my success in life is due in no small measure to the values and principles he was able to instill in me. He was my mentor in Ways Military, explaining the code of military discipline and the conduct of a non-commissioned officer. The story you are about to read is not about me, although there are similarities, but it is about a fictional soldier who has been through some of my experiences and many more. He represents a new type of veteran released from his military family because he can no longer perform his milita military duties as a result of an injury sustained in operations. Had he suffered a physical injury, he would be accepted in society as an honorable veteran wounded in a foreign war, but this fellow has no visible injuries, so he is seen, as so many others like him, as just another failed soldier, gotten rid of because he is now damaged goods. It is a case that unfortunately is far too close to reality. The author has captured the frustration of the injured soldier and society's indifference to both him and the street people with whom he lives. In our rush to material success and its rewards, we are prone to stereotype people, without pausing to consider the circumstances of the less fortunate and how we can help those who have become marginalized to find some semblance of a tolerable, if not a rewarding life. The worst offense is to fail to recognize these injured people as fellow humans in our wonderfully affluent society. To belittle their condition is unpardonable. We will be looked upon by history by the way we treated our wounded and downtrodden. In this story, the reader will encounter characters who, over time, discover their own compassion toward those who are wounded. They may well be the heroes of our time. Romeo Dallaire, Ottawa, October 2005.